was raised in the southeast corner of Arkansas, close to the Mississippi River. When I was a kid, Dad used to take me out on the farm and everything and look around. It just seemed to be the natural thing to me that that's what I wanted to do the rest of my life. I was interested in it. I went on to the University of Arkansas and graduated there and came back home and went into business. Cotton was what we were interested in and that was what we really put our thoughts on because it made us go. I can't tell you how much it has done for my family over the years. It was just such a pleasure to be on the board and a privilege to meet people from all across the belt, get their views and become friends and, and know them. I think Cotton Incorporated and Cotton Board, without them, the cotton industry would not be in the shape it's in today and it's in very good hands in my opinion. One of the big hurdles that we had was getting it to be a mandatory checkoff. And that was hard to do out in the country. It took a while. You know, farmers are a very independent group of people. And after a while, they understood what we were trying to do, and they all got behind it. The touch, the feel, the fabric of our lives. I can't tell you how much it's meant to us because of the fact that it, it kept us in business in hard times. And the research and promotion program has saved cotton. When it came into being, it was the thing that brought it back forth. One of the other things that I personally was involved in, we came up with a state support program in which some of the money that was collected was funneled back to the research people in different states it really smoothed things off and gained so much support out in the country and it's still working and working very well. I'm very proud of being part of that program. It's just been a great experience, but the people that you meet are, are just a privilege to be around. I can't overemphasize how good Cotton has been and allowed me and my family to have the life that we have had. With three boys, taking over and gently easing me out. And I've just had a wonderful life. I married a beautiful woman and she's the finest person I've ever known. After 65 years, it's been a fun time. <laughs>